What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new pop video. Today I'm discussing the Pikachu pop exclusive to Target. Now this video is going to be kind of a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a story time, and also a little bit of an unboxing and just showing off this beautiful, gorgeous first Nintendo, first Pokemon pop. Now let me set my little Pikachu over there and let me get you into this. Of course you can hear the little battle music rattling up from the original Pokemon game. Besides that, I put the battle music on because it literally felt like I was in the hardest gym battle boss ever, and it also felt like I was just trying to catch the hardest wild Pokemon in the whole entire world, and either I was battling this thing and I kept killing it, or the ball just kept wab wobbling, 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 and it was just so freaking annoying. It was just such the hardest thing, so I want to give you guys my rant, my story on this, and maybe how Target can improve their exclusivities. And I'm sure a lot of you pop collectors who have dealt with Target before know how hard this is. Now, I've been staying up like past midnight every single night ever since the release of it because I've been trying to get this pop online. They still haven't released it. They don't know when they're going to. Maybe that's not the company's fault. Maybe Funko should provide a date for them. Little story time starting out. Sunday morning, I wake up at like 6.30 after just closing for my work the next night. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'm gonna try my luck with this Pokemon pop. Get up at 6.30, get over there by ah, maybe like 7. I know they at least have 6. I know they at least have 6 pops there. So, pull up. I see some people waiting. There's 5 people there. Walk up. I'm the 6th one. They said, yep, there's 6 pops. I'm like, awesome. I'm guaranteed at least 1. Another guy walks up around after an hour of us waiting. And we tell him there's only 6. And he's like, oh, uh, maybe, maybe they'll get more. So, we all said this. The guy's really cool. Everyone's pretty cool. Except this last guy. Last guy walks up. Strolls up at like 7.56. We tell them, hey, there's only there's only six amount of pops. There's seven of us. Maybe there's more. You can feel free to stay around. Guy was kind of a dick, to be honest. So I'm like, whatever. And so the, the manager comes out, tells us to file up in a single file line. And he says they have all their new exclusives out behind the counter uh, of the customer service. He's like, just walk up. There's four cashiers open. Uh, each person gets a cashier and besides those people. So I walk up, go follow the rules. I'm a rule follower. I try to follow the rules. I, I, I know how it is to work in retail. I don't want people acting like dicks. So I'm sitting there, I'm sitting behind the line and the lady in front of me is just using cash, blah, blah. The guy drops money. Like it's not the cashier's fault. Like I get that. It's, it's retail. You're stressful. These people are weird. I, I'm weird. I'm a pop collector. I understand that. The guy behind me who strolled up at 757 decides to get out of the line, which the guy who was seventh in line was actually pretty cool. He's like, ah, oh, there's only six. I'll just leave. He just left guy who's behind me decides to cut in line and after a cashier was trying to get off he harassed her and told her hey like get me that pop grab me that pop grab me that pop i need that pop right freaking now i need it i need it i need it i'm in a rush and she's like well you're like still behind she's like no 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 no. i was sixth in line i need this i need this i'm like no 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 no. i was totally just i got up in line told the guy to grab the pop and the guy was just being such a dick took the pop paid for it and i left and i said some things i shouldn't have and given I did get Dr. Ian Malcolm's sexy pose from Jurassic Park, which was cool. Like, I'm glad I got this pop. I've been looking forward to it. But I was so disappointed because I wanted the Pikachu pop. Like, Pokemon's like one of my biggest childhood things. Pikachu's like one of my favorite anime characters in general. So I'm like, damn it. So th the rest of the day, I was pretty pissed off. And it wasn't because I couldn't get the toy. I was more mad just because of how big of a dick the guy I had to be. Like, he was disrespectful. They're like, this is over a toy. It's like humanity at its finest. And later on, I found that pop. I found that guy, I found a picture of his profile on eBay or offer of one of the two, and the dude was selling for like 80 bucks. So big middle finger to you guy. Pretty much the rest of that morning, I called every store within like a 30 mile radius, all saying sold out. We sold out right in the first minutes. Uh, some couldn't find the box, some couldn't find that, which that's not for them to blame. I know it's in the toy section, so sometimes it's a little hard, it gets mixed in. I have friends who work at Target, so I, I understand that mess. And so I'm like freaking out, I'm getting pissed. Call one, and I had a buddy tell me like, hey, this one has five left. I was the only one waiting lines like 25 minutes away from me. I'm like, fuck. All right, I drive, they tell me they still have them. I run in, the guy in front of me is buying three of them. Three pops. Are you freaking kidding me? He bought three of them. And I kind of made a comment. I was like, okay, it's only supposed to be like one per person. The guy, the cashier was like, I didn't know that, blah, blah, blah. They didn't tell me anything. They said I can sell as many as possible. Sells all three to this one jackass and leaves. Later on, I found again, that same guy's profile, also on eBay, selling them for like 80 bucks each. Big middle finger to you guys. And I get it, like the flipping essential. Maybe you're trying to buy a different pop you want, but most people sell this for a living. <sighs> just kind of, kind of made me mad. Like this pop just came out, like sit on it if you're going to sell it whatever just couldn't find the pop went home laid back down 
a little bit pissed off at just humanity in general and the disrespectful people and mostly i was just mostly mad at that first guy like that's where i got it. so whatever it was like trying to trade people for this pop i was trying to do everything i couldn't find it. i was not going to spend 60 bucks for, to a flipper to buy the damn thing whatever next day rolls around still nothing i'm checking brick seek which if you guys are trying to find this pop i recommend brick seek 100 this get the style number of a pikachu here this morning i wake up um, I'm about to do some midterm stuff online, and I just decided to check it for the hell of it. Because um, I was just pretty much staying up till midnight waiting for this thing to go online. And so I'm sitting there, and I see a couple stores have them in stock. I give them all a call. Three of them said no. One of them said, yeah, we just pulled a box out. I'm like, oh my god, it's 9 o'clock. How many do you have? He's like, I can't disclose that, but we do have a couple. So I'm like, damn it. This place is like 25 minutes away from me. I drive, I haul my butt all the way over to Tempe Marketplace, which is, again, is like 25 minutes away from me. I didn't brush my teeth, I threw a shirt on, I put some flippy floppies on, I'm going out in public with flip flops, I think those are just ugly. And I just drive super fast, somewhat illegally. Drive super fast, get there, and I'm like, I run into Target, I'm like, I see someone buying one pop, there's three left, and thank God, I got one of those three. And um, the other three were pretty torn up. The boxes were pretty screwed up. This one's a little screwed up on the side, but I'm not even going to complain. I got the first Pokemon Pop Pikachu exclusive Target, which is dumb that it's an exclusive Target. They're probably, probably going to have like a, a hat Pikachu or a sunglass Pikachu. Who knows? But that's my rant and little story time. Target really needs to fix how they're doing it. I, I think they should have came out with vouchers, handed each person a paper and said, hey, you're getting a pop. That's it. Done a discussion. Everyone else, no more pops. Sorry. I think that's how they should do it every morning. I get it. They're a business. They have their own way of providing it. But I think that's the easiest way to do it. And I think a lot of stores could learn from that. GameStop does it. Hot Topics do that. Box Lunch does that. It's always a single file line. It's very much more organized. Takes more time. But seriously, it's the best way to do it. And I hope they learn from this experience. Because this pop should not have been that hard to get. And it was. And that's my tip to Target. That's my little rant and story time for this damn pop. Thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, though, let's get into the unboxing. Let's get into this. And yeah, let's go to that. Again, this is seriously a battle to get this one pop, but I caught it. <laughs> caught it. So happy I got this pop. And this is seriously going to sit in the behind me in my movie reviews. Of course, as you can see, you can kind of get really up close in there. You can kind of look around the box. You can kind of just see that it's Pikachu. Nothing on the back yet announcing what other pops there are. But I have to imagine there will be tons of other Pikachu and Pokemon Pops, probably Chase version, Squirtle, Squirtle with sunglasses, Charmander, Charizard, Mew, Mewtwo. And I hope they kind of do these more commons, maybe do the exclusives of the ones that aren't big Pokemon types. Um, but I really do hope that. Or maybe shiny, shiny versions of characters can be exclusives. That's fine. I don't care. I just, I want to be able to collect them all. All right, so as you can see, here is the Pikachu. It's very tiny. It holds into my palm. But it is very tiny, it's very cute, it's very adorable, and I just like it. Like, this pop, honestly, it makes my life. It makes my life that I got this Punko pop. And I'm so happy I got my own little Pikachu, because I remember when I was a kid, I used to have an imaginary friend that was actually Pikachu, and I'd always carry it around. So, really happy I got that pop. Looking forward to the rest of the Pokemon lineup. Hopefully, they're way easier to get this, and they don't feel like a damn battle, or a gym battle, or some struggle to get any of these pops. I really hope no. I really want a Gengar pop, though. Gengar is my favorite Pokemon. Make that happen, Funko, please, and make it pretty easy to find. And of course, guys, I want to hear your guys' comments down below. What do you guys think of this pop? Were you guys lucky enough to get one of these pops? Do any of these tips help? Or did you guys have any horrible stories where you guys couldn't get one or it was very difficult for you guys to get one? Let's talk about this down below as Funko collectors, as geek collectors, and as people who love just nerd stuff in general. Let's talk about it down below. Maybe what Funko pop, what Pokemon pop you want them to make next. Also, guys, hit up Sandwich on Films down below there as well because you guys can get into advanced movie streams, check out some movie news and movie reviews. Guys, seriously, thank you for watching this. It means the world to me. Can't wait to talk with you guys next time. So, of course, stay classy.